I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video I am going to be applying the premium professional pinched square nail tips from Gutter Planet and this is what they look like. These are our new professional style tips and yeah I'm literally just going to go ahead and apply them to the nails. It's nothing really special but just in case you guys are struggling with tip application, this is exactly how I do it. So first off, you want to go ahead and obviously do all of your nail prep, take care of that first. And then it's always good if you are a beginner at applying tips to get your tips sized up. So make sure that they fit each nail. If you've been applying tips for a while, you kind of can guess just by looking which tip is going to fit a certain size nail. Um, it does get just a lot easier. So once we've done all of that, it's time to start applying the tips. You can come in with whatever glue you like to use. I like to use the NSI Polybond. I find it really, really great to work with and it's something that I've used for years and years. Um, and you just want to apply a little bit right on the, well, where the well would be, um, a tiny amount on that edge and then place it to the free edge of the natural nail. Press down nicely. First off, let me just mention, you want to try and apply it at a 45 degree angle up to the nail and then press and roll so that you're missing and getting rid of any air bubbles. Also, did you just see, that is the amount of glue that we are going to be using um, to apply tips. Sometimes you can apply too much which will then cause it to spill out of the side walls underneath and it just gets a little bit messy. So you do want to also make sure that you are holding the nail tip still. You want to place it firmly onto the nail and count for between 6 to 10 seconds. That is a time that I like to hold the tip for to make sure that it's nice and stuck in place and that you are not going to get any air bubbles whatsoever because if you let go too soon you might get some air bubbles appear or the tip may not have just stuck down properly. So in order to make sure that that has stuck down correctly obviously you want to go ahead and hold for the correct amount of time. Again, if you do need to sort of come in and trim any nail tips, then that is also fine. You just want to do that with some stork scissors as you saw me previously do. Now, I just wanted to show you as well with these premium tips, they are made out of a plastic that is able to be bent and pinched and it will not crack. It will not create any lines. It's really flexible and durable. And just look at the difference in the pinch that you can create. Like it's absolutely stunning and I have been loving working with them. So if that's something that you are interested in as a nail artist, as a nail tech or for personal use, if you just use your own nails, then I can highly recommend them. I think they are absolutely bomb so I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch the rest of the nails I think I do actually go ahead and trim them and then pinch them again because I didn't want to keep the full length but I'm just showing you guys here the actual difference it kind of makes it into the shape that our pre, um, the pre-pinched coffin nail tips are like so just by doing that pinch this tip is very versatile you can have the square competition look or you can have a coffin you can also obviously come in and trim those side walls and make a stiletto nail or a short square whatever you guys fancy so I'm coming in and I'm just applying the tip to the other hand, but I have changed the camera angle. Let me know if you guys like it. Something that I was just trying out happened by accident, but I kind of think it's fun to sort of like change it up through the video. Then you guys can get a different look from different angles and things like that. It may be helpful if you kind of can catch something that I do differently from other angles, if that even makes any sense whatsoever. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of these tips and then I will be back.
so yeah as you can see I'm just showing you here there is a little bit of whiteness and this is from me spraying the oh god what's it called the hand the sanitizer sorry the isopropyl alcohol or the sanitizer it just created a little bit of cloudiness but you will see in the clear set. I don't show it at the end of this video actually, but it does just go away. As soon as you're applying your acrylic or your gel, it completely disappears. So don't worry if that has ever happened to you with some tips, it will go. Okay. So yeah, that is it for this video. It's a simple kind of like, if I gave you any tips, hopefully I helped you in some way if anyone was struggling. Um, yeah, it was just a quick video to show you guys how I apply the tips and this is how I apply most tips If your nail tips have a well on them, obviously you want to keep the glue in that area and apply down Onto the nail at a 45 degree angle still making sure to then roll the tip onto the nail plate and press out any air bubbles Holding for six to ten seconds. It's practically the same for all tips You may need to tailor and cut and trim some tips to fit certain clients, but that's not an issue either so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please always remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back.